greater delay. You know, I'm reminded of a quote that I read this morning in the paper from uh, Governor Tim Pawlenty, and it, it went something like this. He was talking about an airplane, and he said, you know, if the Republican Party were, were an airplane, and you're sitting there, here, here you go, you're looking out the window, you would see some pieces of the surface flying off, and you would be wondering whether the engine or a wing is next. If, sir, if, if, if Donald Trump were to become the nominee, is the, would the Republican Party be dead? I think, I think he could do great damage to the party. He already has. Uh, the, the infighting that's going on within the party is, is, is not helpful. I don't have Donald Trump sitting here, but it would, would it be possible that, that he's saying a lot of this to, to you know, get people fired up? Clearly he has when you look at all the people coming out to the polls, but he's also said he's a businessman. He said everything's negotiable. Is it possible that he walks some of this back later and that, you know, you would sit down at the table and potentially support him? Well, then, if, if that is the case, Brooke, uh, and he doesn't mean what he's saying, he's just trying to get people fire, fired up, then he is a con man. Mm. <laughs> You got to say man. what you believe and and tell and tell the American people uh, what you would do so that they can make a decision, mm -hmm. not based on fire, getting fired up, but based upon what you truly believe and want to uh, where you want to take this country.